Hey guys, welcome back to Inner Discord JS tutorial. So in today's video, we are actually gonna continue the website tutorials because uh it has been requested a lot of times in my Discord server. So yeah, um, so in today's video, I'll be actually integrating the website with the economy system that we have. So yeah, if you haven't watched that series already, you should see a card pop up right now. You can click on that if you want to watch how to make your own economy bot. So yeah, let's get right into it. So before we start, um, I have this project. I, I basically have two projects. So this is the um, economy bot that I've been working on for the past few videos. Um, and this is the DJS bot. So this bot includes the music system and the latest tutorials. So um, just make sure that your project has the same the same uh, connection string. So um, basically, if you haven't watched the first uh, first video on the website series, make sure to watch that. I will make a card. You can click on it to watch it. All right. So uh, I have this very basic setup. So app dot yet slash uh, economy, and then we need to send hello. So this is very basic. So if I start the bot, I mean if I yeah if I start the bot and I go to localhost slash three thousand, and then I should um see this hello over here. All right. So next um. If you have it in the same folder, so let's say um, you have it in your models, the schema of economy, all right, you don't need to do what I'm doing right now. So uh, if you don't have the schema, you can just follow this because we're actually, we're not going to manipulate any data. So equals require mongoose. Okay. And then um, normally if you want to get a schema so you just gonna do const model equals require uh dot, dot slash models and then slash your um your schema basically so currently um i don't have the schema because it is uh existent in another file which is the economy bot file so what i can do is i can create a new model and a fake schema so you don't want to do that if you have the um ready event within your discord uh your discord project folder whatever you want to call it so yeah uh as i said if you have it in your models folder just require it normally or else you can just do this so you can just do const model equals uh mongoose the model okay so in the name you gotta match the same name which is money money and then i'm just gonna put a fake schema over here all right okay so there's two parameters which is the author id and the coins so uh we're just gonna do this so uh it's not advisable for you to do this it's just for like demonstration purposes if you want to keep it and like sh i would make a tutorial on a leaderboard system with styling and uh, stuff on the next video but in today's video i'll just focus on displaying data so we can just do const user equals to write dot query dot uh, user. Okay, we're not gonna use. Oh, uh, what am I gonna say? We're not gonna use something like this. We're not gonna use params. We're gonna use queries because it looks way more cleaner. So we can just do const user equals write dot query dot user. All right, and then uh, we can do if there's no user, we can just send. The entire data so once again this is not advisable for you to do um so in today's video i'm just going to focus on displaying data so that's why i'm doing this so if there's no data we're just going to send the entire data model of fine uh async error data and i'm just gonna do uh, rest.send data okay that's for if there's no user and make sure to add a return statement here okay next if it's there's a user and then we're gonna find for data first if there's no data we're just gonna say there's no data so model.find1 alter id the reason i'm doing alter id because is the schema specified it as alter id and all of the data is saved as alter id so alter id will be equals to user async error data if there is no data re rest.send uh, user 
does not exist in database. So if there's data, and then we can just make sure add a return in here. We're just gonna use a guard clause, and then uh, if there's data, basically we're just gonna do rest dot send data. All right. So um, yeah, let's just test this out. I'm pretty sure I have uh quite an amount of data saved in database. So okay. So let me just go to my browser. And just refresh this. As you can see here, um, sorry for the light mode. Okay, there is a tons and tons of uh, user uh, author IDs, which is basically the users. So this is my ID. Um, this is basically displaying the entire data, the entire data for uh inside the database. So if you want to get a user's like this guy over here, the uh, ID that starts with five. We can just copy the ID, okay? So the what param does it just allows us to do question mark user, and we can just pass in the ID. And then as you can see here, it shows a the data for the specific user. So if there is not not a user, let me just suit an ID user does not exist in database. So yeah, that should conclude today's video on the um part one of economy and website collaboration if you want to see uh, a continuation of this series uh so basically i'm just gonna add styling to it i'm gonna make a search bar a leaderboard so if you want to see that make sure to leave a like leave a comment let me know in the comment section um yeah other than that if you want to see more D discord js tutorials stay tuned until the end you should see a playlist that you can click on other than that have a nice day see you again next video bye Stories I'm a fool for your life